Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to another video. Now, I needed to do this intro with this guy. <laughs> it's this is the nerd emoji, I literally had to. Um, but yeah, hello. Today we are going to be taking a look at Borok. Now, it's actually been a very long time since I've actually done Borok. I checked, it's been like, like eight months. So, we're gonna be taking a look at it. Now, Borok has actually been seeing a lot of usage in the Eight Your Face weeklies recently, where it has been paired with Ika, and they call it Ikabor. And I was told by one of the, the tryhards that uses um, Ikabor that if you do not fight Terraform, Gastroke, and Harvest Sect, you win. That is their exact quote. So, we are going to be trying this out, and we're going to see how well that works out. But yeah, here I got the Borok, and it's a pretty basic Borok. It's a very brawny one. We're here to just blow stuff up. We have tenders, so we can tank hits from, like, Flash and Flea Phage and all, which is what they told me. And I have item Earth Essence. Now, I went with Earth Essence because I just want to spam my Earthquakes, right? That's the whole idea with Borok is you want to get your plus one, spam your Earthquakes, and do a lot of damage. That's the goal. And then I also decided to go with four attacks because, you know what, I just want to hit really, 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 really hard. And that's kind of the goal of Borok is, again, just to hit super duper hard. And then here are the TPs. Now, I know you're going to be like, why is there 116 energy? This gets you to 250, so you can click five earthquakes. Now, normally, I probably wouldn't do this and I'd run something like Energy Orb, but... Mm, I'm sort of iffy on Energy Orb, but it's fine. You know what? We ball. Mmm. And this is actually one of the exact spreads that one of the sweats used. So, hey guys, it's good. Yeah, the 200 melee attacks, so we hit as hard as possible. And then the 176 speed. The guy said he doesn't remember what it's for. But what I'm thinking it's for is you are speed creeping nimble flychomp florant. Yeah. You're outspeeding Nimble 200 Fly Chomp Florant. And then a little bit more, I guess. Something that might want to speed creep like a Lushent investing to outspeed the Fly Chomp Florant. Maybe it gets really, really chaotic. But yeah, that's what we're running. And yeah, then of course we got the Ika. Where you're just going to be... Uh, the goal is to just pivot and then get into Borok. And if they go into something like Krakaloa, if they go into something like... Uh, Pyrolin. That's kind of the goal, right? And we'll hopefully see if that works. Without further ado, let's get right into it. This guy's name is Shirley. I had to fight the nerd emoji, dude. I had to. We did the intro together. We, we, we're going down together. Um, okay, so this is not really a good example of how strong the Borok can be, but this is an example of how strong the Ika can be, because we can control the game very well with our Ika, seeing as the only good switch into the Zip Zaps are... They actually have a lot of resist to Ika, but Ika's not going to be the one really doing all the damage. We're going to have Borok trying to do that. And I would honestly really like to bring Buzzlin because it's going to be solid to that Lashent, as well as being able to be annoying to that Cradle. And we also have this, which we can set up Icicle Traps that they actually can't get rid of. So this is honestly a good lead as well. And I could bring the Funny Dorigo with Lucky, but I think we're just going to go with Hollow Bunch. This one just kind of makes sense. All right, here we go. As they lead off with a Skellic. Okay, so we do have Deep Freeze for this thing. Mm. Mm. Actually, I'm slightly worried about this thing setting up. Because if this thing gets up too many boosts, I could actually lose. So we're going to go for Deep Freeze immediately. And if they Drudge immediately, um, then... Uh, do they die to two? No, they should die to two, right? I have 100 range attack, right? It's Stab. Totemochi actually does hit pretty hard, so... We also have our Clutch Plushie, so we can survive this if needed. I don't have Wobblisk, which I always get scared of things that set up if I don't have Wobblisk or Cranboss. Let's see. Yeah, it is, it's a clean two-shot. Oh, Fade Away. Okay, nice. So we're not too stressed about the Skellic now, seeing as pretty much everything on our team can probably outspeed it. Hmm. What are they going to go to now? As they're into Cosmillion. Okay, so Cosmillion does make a lot of sense. It's going to go for a big range hit here. Um, I kind of want to go for Icicle Trap. I honestly really want to. We're just going to go for Icicle Traps. It could also go for a weird impersonate expecting me to Boom Bash, which honestly make a lot of sense, but we actually get the outspeed. So it is slower than our Totemochi. 
Oh, intriguing. Uh, wait, are they gonna go back into the Skellig? Oh, is that their play? Hmm, that's an interesting one, if so. We're gonna defreeze and hit this thing. Climate Cannon comes out, and I can actually tank it because Cosmillion does not hit that hard. And we go for another deep freeze. One problem with their strat here is they need to drudge with the Skellic, but as long as they have something on the field that can actively hit the Skellic, we're not too worried about it. So we're honestly in a fine spot. I do not like how that looks. Hold on. We are going to fix this. No, I just didn't wait until I set up. Stay there. That still look fine. Is, is, is he still in, in frame? Sort of. It's fine. I just did not like how curvy that thing was. Anyway, they have Zulong in. We've had this Totemochi on the field for way too long. Um, we could honestly go Borok on this Zulong, right? We we have an, an option to do that. We're going to deep freeze one more time and just end up dying here. And Oh, Ancient Roar actually comes out. Okay, wait. What's the plan? Is it Skellic? If it's Skellic, I just get the deep freeze off, right? And he dies because he, he might... He takes Ascal Trap Chips. Not a lot, but he can, he'll take it. Mmm, okay. This is fine. I, I'm in a completely favorable position right now. He's he's taken a lot of damage on pretty much all of his stuff, so we, we're pretty much fine. Though I feel like if he wanted to play a little bit better, you probably don't use the dust get there. We're just gonna rest. It's fine if we die. They can palm. Yeah, there's the palm. We're not gonna do any damage to this thing. But this thing's what, 109? What's Buzzlin again? Uh, that'll be a little annoying. Uh, I mean, let's deep freeze if we can. Yeah, so this this does. Out, I was expecting that to outspeed us. I was gonna, I was gonna be very surprised that, that did not outspeed us. So, Buzzlin actually kind of just wins at this point. Yeah, it kind of just does. I was gonna control the game with the Ika, but I don't really need to right now. I think right now the play is just to do Buzzlin. <laughs> I still have Borok for stuff, though. I'm not too worried about it. Mm, I have sped it. This guy's running a very slow team. Does he got, like, speed increasing stuff, I'm guessing? He's preparing for Sticky Web. That's what he's preparing for, because that'll totally come. At some point. I know that Jamie has been talking about Banfano getting, like, Banana Slip. I think that's what it's called. Look like that. I need to go, turn, go this down a little bit. There we go. Was that too far down? That was probably way too far down. Oh, my God. No, I wanted it more down. Like here. There we go. Now I'm more seen. Okay, so there is a Skellic in front of us. Let's just Baneful. I mean, we also have the Borok to one-shot the Zoo. I mean, like, we're not using that offensive core, but this is also working. This is working. Oh no. That's a dead Lashent. That is a dead, dead Lashent. That crit mattered too. Anyway. I'll oh, by the way, I got this Google I got I got not not I got Copilot AI on my computer. I, it just appeared. I don't really know how it got there. It just appeared. I'm assuming it downloaded it itself because it's sentient. Um but I'm gonna predict Thunderstrike here and go Borok. But, um, what I was thinking about doing was doing a video where it's like AI chooses literally everything that I do. I pick out a team, right? But the AI decides absolutely everything that happens in the battle. Like, I'll tell it, all right, I have my Borok up against a Zulong. Should, what move should I click? And it'll tell what move I should click out of Earthquake, Rogue Assault, Megatron, and Raging Tackle. And then, like... I would ask, do we want to switch or attack, right? Now that's what I'd ask, and <laughs> sounds like a banger video. I feel like it would only be a singular battle though, just because of how um, how long it would take to type everything in. But anyway, I'll do a battle. All righty, here we go to the next one. Okay, there is a gas stroke, so we need to be a little bit careful, but he can't get rid of the poison barbs that easily. Oh, we actually really can't. So this is going to be solid. Um, 
I need ice skill traps up, I feel like. Yeah, ice skill traps are so good in this battle. Holy. Ice skill traps, we bring this to be annoying with the, the flinching. <laughs> oh man, and then if we can badly poison the gas stroke, that'd be amazing. Because Dorgo is really good into gas stroke. Um... We do have this also, which can also beat the gas stroke with palming and dark surge. Because gas stroke never can beat me as long as I have scapegoats up. <laughs> Borok is coming. What does Borok really switch into? Cleone? I guess Cleone and we click Earthquake, right? That makes a little bit of sense. Maybe we do this. If I do this early, then he actively... Unless he goes um, gas stroke lead, then he can't stop the Ika. And also, I don't think gas stroke's the best bring here because I have way too many things to threaten it. And if I go Buzzlin, Buzzlin's also a big threat to their team. One problem I'm having is this, um, is this Thaumon, though, if I don't bring to Clips. Uh, who freaking cares? Let's just, just, let's just have a fun time. And they go with Gondervale lead. Yeah, this one makes sense. I honestly feel like it's just a Zip Zap here. Mmm. It could also be preemptive, but it doesn't really do anything. So we zip zap, hit them really, really, really hard. And then they're going to slap down, so let's get rid of our most useless item. I also have the Buzzlin to gust away barbs, of course. Yep, getting rid of the most useless item is definitely the play here. Um, I don't actually know if they are a wall breaker Gondravail or a setup Gondravail, so I still don't know yet. I'm on Ice Gold Trap, honestly. Getting these up is really good. <laughs> Thumb in. Okay. Yeah, this was one thing that I was slightly worried about. But I feel like Buzzlin just kind of works to kill it. Um, Because they're going to palm, right? They're, they're going to palm. I don't think they would go for any other move besides palm. They could also Psycho Blast, and that just kind of two shots this. No, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. Buzzlin has a ranged defense stat. It shouldn't want. It shouldn't not two shot. I don't think that's gonna two shot. And if it does, that sucks. Yeah, there's the palm. I mean, this is a bad position for them. They really do not want to deal with this because they do not one shot this, and I outspeed it. They 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 cannot one shot this. They have to be a very nimble Thaumon with Frost Beam to get close to a one shot. And they'd have to be uh, Frost Shell. Then that would kill. But that's probably not a thing. So I live this and I get all my health back. I can also get crit and lose all my health, which matters. So, oh man. <laughs> well, that's annoying. Yeah, that crit really, 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 really mattered. That's so irritating. Yeah, that, that, that is a very painful crit to have to go through. That is such a, and this is going to be luster loot as well. Should I scout for luster loot? Yeah, that crit matters so much. Oh man. There's deep freeze. Oh, they are energy orb. That's how little energy that's taking. <laughs> they have to risk flinches with this. They could also just go to clips. But I lost my thing to, that I brought to beat to clips because I got crit. I was going to live that hit, get all my health back, and be in such a good spot. But that crit literally ruined everything. Yeah, that, that crit actively ruined the entire game. Ugh. Why? Why? Why do these things have to happen? Why are people so lucky? That's so ir... That, that actually is making me very upset. Because there is no universe where that ever one shots then I get all my health back and then he's in a terrible spot but the crit saves his freaking life we still get the Borok on the field the palm comes out they are they are just palming a lot though they, they are peace of minding Gondravail could come in but then they take too much damage from my skill traps and I'm in a really good spot right now to just earthquake <laughs> if that crit me I was gonna be I was leaving but I'm a plus one very brawny this will one shot the Eclipse nice okay i lost my only way to kill the gas stroke too no i did lose my only way to kill gas stroke i can't i fizz i cannot lose borok 
I lose Borok, I lose the game. So we're just gonna go Ika. I mean, they can also Palm, and then that's awful for me as well. Well, there's Deep Freeze. Oh, and they get, they get the Shiver, so now I lose a Fire Breath because of that. Wow, this has been terrible so far. The luck is not on my side in this fight, that's for sure. I go for Psycho Blast, which does not one-shot. I'm surprised they didn't crit to one-shot me. <sighs> well, I'm losing another Fire Breath, which really sucks. I still have Borok, though, and I still have Mega Chomp to hit Gastroke. So, that's really good. So, it's more of a thing where I have to not let it tamp. But I don't have any way to stop. Yeah, I lost two Fire Breaths because of the Freeze. I lost my Buzzlin, which was just going to sweep the game because... Mm, this has been very irritating, I'm going to be honest. <sighs> this has been a very difficult game so far. Exclusively because of that crit. Well, they are vigorous, so this doesn't really do that much. <laughs> this also can never, ever, ever outspeed Dorigo unless it's boots. And, oh, I actually can't tell if it's boots or not. <laughs> because I got the crit. No, not crit. Because I burned it. I mean, I can only go into this, right? This is my only switch. And if it is boots, then we just lose. No, if it's boots... No, if it's Boots Vigorous, it's Jover. It's just Venom Chomp. This, this will kill. Okay. This has been such a game so far. Oh, all I need to do to kill Gastroke is to just spam Venom Chomp till I get the poison. Oh, it's Cram Boss. Oh, it's Cram Boss. Hmm. That's Raps can't beat this unless it battle chimes ice jaws hmm nothing I have can beat this all I can do is hopefully scapegoat stall it that's literally all that I can do is scapegoat stall to loses all of its energy and if he lets me get behind a scapegoat he has to risk all my flinches and poisons I, I actually can't do anything else Dude, Buzzling was so good, and I get crit turn one. Okay, no, they let me get behind a scapegoat. That's good. All I have to do now is hope. That's all I can do. Because clearly luck has not been on my side. Yeah, no, I've been... Yeah, this game is over. I can't do anything. This game is just over because... That crit, dude! I live, I get all my health back. That crit won them the game immediately. I, that's so sad. Why'd I get crit, man? That crit actually has me annoyed. <laughs> that, okay, never mind. Oh man. Whoa, what a what an avatar. Anyway, I'm still livid after that crit. That that is so that's so irritating because like if I really think about it, that crit wins the game because I lose my way to beat the Thaumon, I lose my way to one-shot Cram Boss, and I lose basically everything because of the crit. That that's 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 what happened. Um But on top of that, I mean this is a pretty good game. I mean their switches into Borok are really bad. My switches into Morfezo are even worse. So <laughs> we lucky. We're gonna lucky this. And then do I just do I just bring the same team? I mean this team has been working. It's just what's my switch into Tatab? I don't have one if I don't bring Hollow Bunch. So I don't think I can bring Lucky. I might be able to if I get behind a scapegoat, but realistically that's not really happening. Mmm. I can poison bar, but they're just gonna lead off with uh, Gargolem, right? Let me do this. So they're gonna go Gargolem. Hmm. So, funnily enough, the better move to click here to start is actually Boom Bash. The reason is because if I can get a Daze, because this is a Clutch Plushie, the Gargolem is Clutch Plushie, right? If I Daze, I can potentially prevent another layer hazards from going up. So, 
yes, that was the better move to click first. Because now I just killed a Gargolem, right? But I could have potentially prevented another layer of bars from going up. That was the best option that I had. Just because it's a quad effective move does not mean it's the best move to click at the time. I don't have to switch into this. I, it's return to sender. Dang it. I think this is the same instance, but honestly, I'm an icicle trap because I want to get damage in that Morphezu. This actually wastes Tatab's energy, which is really good. So let's just boom bash here. I could have potentially boom bashed, you know, I, I could have. And now I can't even get the lucky to work immediately. Oh, I, oh, I didn't even bring lucky. Well, I gotta go haul a bunch, so. If they let me hit this with Pharaoh, then I might be in the clear. They do. I can live two of these, but honestly, I'm taking too much damage. Oh, who knew? They crit. That matters, because... Never mind. I crit, and I... I hate crits. <laughs> these things suck! This is horrible. I hate crits. I hate winning with a crit. It feels so unearned. This is gonna drudge, isn't it? If it drudges, they kill. I go Ika, I outspeed, and then... Frick, I don't think I can kill it gonna drudge no borok borok has more attack i get plus one i get crit again okay i'm gonna stop mentioning crits because apparently that's a bad thing to do so i've got plus one 288 teradescent has a range defense or melee defense stat though that's the problem uh mega chomp yeah it does not kill but i cannot speed it i think no this these things run max speed though um yes by the way teradeson does have the higher rank melee attack stat but i have the uh actually i can Having so much fun! <laughs> I'm losing my mind. This is ridiculous. How many times am I gonna get crit? I can't. If I say crit, it's going to happen. So I can't freaking say the word. You know what I'm trying to say. What's happening? This is not fair. <laughs> this is stupid. This is stupid, is what it is. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm just going to keep staring at Darkrai because I know it's coming to Pokemon Unite in six more days. It's literally a countdown right now. It's literally a countdown. Oh my god, who knew they leave with a god reveal? Oh my god, oh my god, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Anyway, let's do this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is stupid! Do I just kill this and then set up a school trap or a school trap and then kill it? You know, my buzzlin's not gonna be very healthy whenever I switch it in here. It's not looking good on for buzzlin. But it's fine. It's fine. No, it's not. I'm gonna get crit and I'm gonna lose the game. Buzzlin's gonna take literally a third of its health whenever it switches in. Volkaloa is in. Oh, right, they had this. Surely Volkaloa cannot one shot Buzzlin, right? Oh, they let me actually go for a boom bash. No days, though. <laughs> Oh, 
And I want to do the lucky strat. Frick it, we're doing it. Or frick, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. I don't. Need, I have no clue what Dino Claws this thing is though. Is it boots? Is this is freaking boots. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm actually gonna lose my mind if this is boots. Who uses boots? Who uses boots? Vocal. It's, it has bra boots for a reason. Human beings are a failure of a species. They they all suck. They they all suck. Human beings suck. Hate them all. I'm losing my mind. This is stupid. I'm 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 mad. I'm I'm mad right now. This is stupid. This is dumb. I get. I, <laughs> why 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 do they have boots, Volcaloa? It wasn't even boots. It was very nimble. Very nimble at speeds by one. That's right. I am actively losing my mind. This is this is. I thought this would be one of the more fun things I was using, but no, 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 Oh no, it's a speed tie! I'm losing my mind. This is ridiculous. It just You can't freaking do anything. What are you gonna do? This thing, you literally have no way to hit me super effectively. You can't do anything. This is, this is just... I'm losing everything. My sanity is, is slipping from me. Life tri- I'm gonna get crit. I'm gonna get crit by life drain. By a life drain terra fly. Losing everything. My sense of self is just gone. I, I'm in my Inside Out 2 era. I, 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 I think it's... I think I've, I've lost it all. I, I've, I've, I've lost it all. I've lost everything. My sanity. My hopes and dreams. It's all down the drain. Borok sucks. What can I say? You know, I- oh my god, if this, if this clicks burn up, I did all of that, and if this, this is gonna click burn up. Oh my god. Click life train. A normal move on Chartiki. His second life drain user. Inner peace. You can achieve inner.
I got a knuckle sandwich for you. Ow, I hurt my arm. <laughs> I heard it pop. Ha ha, you suck. Sorry, I'm losing my mind. I don't know what to do. This should kill, I think, right? I'm calling out the, the, the briar block. So predictable. I just need to call out people spamming protect move because they're scared to death. I'm losing my mind. Oh, yay! He's badly poisoned! If I can go Borok, I break this. I break the tank, go Borok, and I Mecha Chomp, and I kill. Right? That would work. Pretty sure this thing has like 104 attack. I should literally always get. Yes. Yes. Mega Chomp. Mega Chomp. Get him. There we go. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that, that AI video again. I'm going to do the AI video tomorrow. Because now it's like I don't even want to play the game. I've lost it all. I've lost my sanity. My dreams. I've lost everything. Not Harrow. I mean, he wants to go for crits. As we've seen today, that's been an apparent factor of my existence. These critical strikes. But hey, I mean, this is working, right? Oh, Oh, that sucks. Bye, Eligoana. It was really nice knowing you.